Just like Joseph. Respect those in authority. But don't fear them to where you do things that go against the word of God. Understand? Okay. This is the end of part one. Being baptized and speaking in tongues absolutely are benefits. They're good. The man on the cross to, that, that honored Jesus, he did not have a chance to be baptized. And the Lord said, you will be with me in paradise today. My point is, speaking in tongues is a benefit. Baptism is so awesome. It's a symbol of respect to God. The old, getting, uh, passing, the old passing away, behold the new. In so many ways, there's a whole sermon on that. I won't get into that, but right now, both of those are good. Don't deny them, especially speaking in tongues. Oh, my goodness. The two benefits of speaking in tongues, in a nutshell, the devil can't understand what you're saying, so he can't go against what you're saying. And then the second one is the Holy Spirit can grab a hold of it now because he sees higher than we do. He sees the whole problem. We only see this much. And he can now grab a hold of it and pull the root out of the problem and pray. Use it for whatever he needs to use it for to make your problem go away and to make your life better. And all the people that you're praying for, not just yours, but many intercessors that we pray for other people that we cause their life to be so much better as well too. So speaking in tongues is surely a benefit. Pray to God. Lord, help me speak in tongues. Give me that Anulukumano Shanda Keliesi Rakasha. Makapa Rokapa Mempefe Befe Anuha Makosi. Yes, Lord. Tore Somoma Hakira Takare. Anything, oh Lord, thank you. Whatever comes out of our mouth does not have to make sense and does not have to be written down, does not have to match any language on this earth. It's a heavenly language. The devil can't understand it. When he was kicked out of heaven, he lost it cannot understand your heavenly language is God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. The angels, the host of angels. Amen? Then there's the other kinds of tongues, the diverse kinds of tongues, which do, they, those languages, they speak in all the different languages on this earth in order to penetrate the people's lives that are listening to the glory of God and to their benefit, to be free and to live to serve others and be like Jesus Christ equip people to be like Jesus Christ. That's what the diverse comes as, tongues is for. And uh, some, then, there's the, then there's the public tongues that they want interpretation. It's for the edification of the church. There's a message straight from God to the church. And that's the interpretation. There's several different tongues. But your own personal private tongue, whoo, alone with the Lord, wipes out the devil's plans for you and your children and your family and your future, your finances, all of it. He just... He, he's, he's, he's helpless when you pray in tongues because there is no language to grab a hold of that he understands that he can go against.